Hey, what's the one? So today I have some very, very exciting news for you. It's about the Transformers Legacy line. So there's actually two pieces of information. Um, this was posted recently on Zebratron, so I'm kind of glad I waited, actually, because I um, saw this news, of course, later earlier in the day, but I couldn't do it. I was busy, and I waited, of course, till now to record it, and there's this new information here that we have found. So this is really good. Um, I can do a video on both of these things at the same time, so it can be, you know, fully complete videos. So let's just start with the actual characters, then we'll get into whatever this is later. So first off, we have two figures of the Legacy line revealed to us. Of course, you cannot buy them, just images, but of course, they are official um, and I think they look really, really cool. So we have Legacy Bulkhead and G1 Skids. So let's start with Bulkhead. So here he is in his truck mode. As you can already see, this is more of a G1 style look. This is not what you would say a Transformers Prime style look at all, really. Because in Transformers Prime, he turns into a big, um, you know, monster truck. This is more of kind of a military truck style vehicle. But I still think it looks really, really cool. Um, we have lots of pegs and stuff everywhere, so I'm thinking probably um, they will keep that uh, fossilizer, you know, modulator look to it because there's some pegs here and there. Also, one thing I did just realize, this is really down to attention to detail, I would say, but there is uh, this peg here, and they did have pegs like those with the Armada toys where you could attach a Minicon to it. So maybe they're going to release, like, with those core class figures, maybe they're going to have... Uh, mini cons that will do that sort of gimmick like they did with Armada where you can attach a mini con onto the side and it gives it some sort of power. That could be completely wrong, but that peg looks very similar because I do have some Armada toys, a very few of them, but they have a peg style like that. I also really do like the back of it because uh, some of the military jeeps, you know, they'll have like a cloth backing where they, you know, have troopers and, and you know, um, you know, stuff like that. Um, so that's really nice detailing on there. Um, like that about symbol, nice looking green. There's some black for the wheels. Um, front part looks pretty good with some nice lights. Um, and it comes with this really cool machine gun there that looks really, really cool. Um, and this will come into play later, so do stay tuned for that. Um, and here is the robot mode. I think the robot mode looks really, really good. I do have to say, the background that they have done with this looks amazing. There's like an engine there. There's like a planet like exploding or something. Tons of really, really cool stuff. Really like the background. Um, so I think this overall looks really, really cool. I think it is a completely brand new mold. I think there is some slight, maybe slight, I could be wrong, reusing with the legs. These do look semi-similar to Hound's legs, but I could be wrong. This is supposed to be, I'm pretty sure, a Voyager-priced figure, which I think is completely i think that makes complete sense because in the transverse prime show bulk it was a very big huge bulky figure um he also does come with his classic typical big uh mace which i think looks so so cool i'm so glad they included this because that would have made absolutely no sense if it did not come with it because that is his signature weapon um and i'm okay with that it comes with a gun i think maybe possibly they could have if they wanted to because i'm pretty sure that this will like go over one of his hands. I don't think the the uh, the uh, mace is like a permanent thing. I think probably it just like slides over as one of his hands. Yeah, it's right there. You can see both hands. So, um, would have been really cool. And let me know if you like this or not. That they could have not given him a weapon. They could have given him a chain on the side, so you could have had like a a ball and chain if you wanted him to like swing it instead of just be right around his hand. But I think that looks really really cool. A really nice machine gun. I do kind of wish that the chest was changed more because that is, as you can see, really just the front of the truck right there. It's not really changed very much at all. But I still think it looks really, really cool and definitely will be getting it. Um, another really, really cool option. Of course, you could consider this parts forming, but it really does not matter to me at all. I really do like this option. It looks really, really cool. You can take this little backpack section, which this is definitely how I will display it in my collection, not like this, because these little flat pieces do kind of bother me, but I'm really glad they have this option. But I'm pretty sure if you don't want to take this back piece off, you could probably fold those pieces even more, but it will, of course, stick out more. Um, but it is more compressed that way. So you do, you will have some 
you know, things given up, you know, depending on how you display it. But you could take that piece off and you can form a shield, which I think looks really, really cool. You could also put that little machine gun on the side, which I think looks pretty cool. I think the shield looks really, really nice. I'm glad they gave that as an option. I think it makes perfect sense, especially with Bulkhead, because he's a big, bulky figure. And he has, you know, a big shield and a really big mace. So I think that looks really cool. Here he is without all of his, access without all of his accessories, so this is really the clean look, and I think it looks really, really cool. I think the head sculpt definitely looks very, very accurate to the show, but again... They're really going for the more G1 look, less of the TV show look, which I'm, I'm was kind of semi expecting. But there we go, and there's a close up of his head, and I think that looks really, really nice. Nice transparent blue for the chest, nice Autobot symbol there, and here is a, uh, of course, stock image of the vehicle. So the colors will be different. This is a more accurate picture of it, not this. But if you wanted to see if the background was kind of, you know. Um, taking away from it, here's a good picture of it. And I'm not sure with this little back piece for the truck, I'm not sure because you can disconnect it. That is the same shield piece I am, I'm assuming. So maybe you can have the truck without the back piece. I'm not too sure. Or that could just be how it is. Um, here is another stock image. These colors are definitely different. But you do have a better view of the shield that way. And the mace just looks absolutely amazing. And here we are. Here we are on to the second figure. Here we have Transformers uh, G1 Skids. So I'm not super familiar with this character, but I know they were uh, they're going to do a masterpiece version of this one. So that is kind of nice how they were they're able to release another version that is of course much much cheaper because I think the masterpiece one is going for about 90. Of course, I'm pretty sure this is a deluxe, so about 20 to 23 dollars, um, depending on really where you are. But um. In terms of the gun, this really, really cool blade, which again, that will come into play later, so do stay tuned for that. Um, so again, that looks really, really cool. Nice car mode, again, really nice background. Of course, that is not connected to the figure at all, but I think that looks really cool. I am wondering, I really am wondering and looking forward to knowing what the packaging will look like. Will they have some uh, the same style of uh, kingdom where there's... A, pretty much all the box is the artwork, which I'd be perfectly fine with because it looks amazing in Kingdom. Or will they do some different style that we are not used to? Or maybe will they uh, will they give us, will they continue the collector cards? Or will they do something like Stu series where they give us a background from like each show? So like, um, of course, Skids, it would be like the arc in the background. Bulk, it would be like the big mountain base from Transformers Prime. You know what I mean. Here we have another picture of the clean look, which I think the car looks really, really, really good. It looks very, it honestly doesn't even look like it could transform. Just a few little hinges here and there that give it away that it can transform, but I think it looks amazing. Another picture with a really, really cool gun. So I guess this comes with three accessories because there's a pistol here, an Energon blade here, and another gun here. So I think it comes with three accessories, which is pretty cool. Um, and here he is, uh, a little bit cut off of the legs, but as you can see, you can combine all the weapons together. There's the two barrels, the one barrel, and the Energon Blaster, which I think looks really, really cool. And I think the color scheme frame looks amazing. I think this looks very, very close to the Masterpiece one. Um, I am not going to get the Masterpiece one, especially now, because there's this much cheaper one, but I don't think I was going to get it in the first place, even if they didn't make this figure, but still, I think that looks really, really cool. Here's a more clean, full look. Um, I think it looks good. Just There is some hollow areas here and there, but of course, not every line is perfect. I think really, after the first wave, really this in my personal opinion, I think the first wave of, of most series, uh, you know, being new trilogy or not, you know, like Siege, Kingdom, Earthrise, they were good figures, but I think it really got interesting in the second wave. Like with Kingdom, we got Dinobot, we got Racto Knight, we started getting more fossilizers. We three, we got Galvatron, you know. So we'll be 
probably getting some pretty interesting characters coming out. We might get Transmetal 2 Megatron in Wave 1. I don't know. Of course, we will get at least one leader class. So I'm really, really interested to find out. But I think it does look, does look really cool. Of course, gaps are expected. But I think overall, I think it looks really, really cool. I do really like the door wings. Some people are really bothered by those, but I really do like the look of it. You probably can uh, hinge them back to a different position if they bother you enough. Here is a more action pose. If you want to just have the Energon Blade by itself and then the two guns together, you can do that, which I think looks really, really cool. A uh, closer uh, look of the chest and head scope, which I think looks really, really nice. And some stock images. And a really nice, really nice car detailing. Very, very clean. It looks really, really nice. Very G1-like. More stock photos. Some nice red for the feet. Looks really, really good. And that's pretty much it for uh, Legacy News. So, um, yeah, I think these figures look amazing. Skids looks really, really cool. Bulkhead I really do like. I just kind of wish they changed the chest a little bit more. But, of course, this is not a final render. They could change this completely. We don't know. Of course, they will be showing um, some uh, images of the first wave of, of uh, Legacy. We don't know officially if this is from Wave 1. There is some uh, listings for it to be, you know, Wave 1. There is, like, some, in some systems, it's titled to be a part of Wave 1 Legacy. But, of course, that can change because, like, uh, with Kingdom, we were supposedly going to get a Wave 5. And we were going to get a Kingdom Blaster. But, of course, now that's a Legacy Blaster. So things could come definitely completely a change but i think this looks really really cool so let's get into the second part uh also connected to legacy so if you remember seeing this little energon machine gun and that energon blade that came with skids uh which i will go down here to show that little piece right there on top of the car um remember those keep those in your mind because that's what we're going to talk about right now let me just scroll right up to the top so um the new gimmick or you know, feature for the line is you can combine and you can use these little Energon weapons to make uh, and, like, um, improve your weapon. I'm not sure how this will connect to the Energon monsters, because, you you know, you did see there was the... Um, there's If you've watched some of my videos on Legacy listings, there has been, um, you know, uh, listings for Energon monsters. There could probably be some in here right now. Yeah, like right here, if I highlight this Energon monster, uh, it's going to be a core class figure. And there'll probably be some deluxes here and there. Um, like, yeah, here's another one right here, Energon monster deluxe class right there. So I don't know if these Energon monsters will be semi-related to... Uh, these weapons, but that is what the gimmick is. There's going to be little Energon pieces that come. I'm not sure if it will be with every figure, um, or if it will just be maybe with every Deluxe and Voyager. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I'm really, really looking forward to uh, seeing the Energon monsters. We might get one in the first wave, like with Kingdom, with our gimmick, uh, the Fossilizers. We got one in the first wave, or two actually. We got um, Vertebrake and uh, Paleotrix. So maybe we'll get a core class uh, Energon monster and a deluxe uh, Energon monster, and that'd be very, very interesting to see. So um, that's pretty much it. There's a ton of listings here, which I have gone over good portion of these uh, a lot. But as you can see, there's several Energon monsters here and there for being core classes and deluxe classes. And we we'll, might get some Voyagers and Leaders. Who knows? Um I would like them take. I would like them to take it to the Voyager size because, uh, as you realized, if you just realized, um, if you already knew, but uh, I, I kind of just realized myself. But with the uh, fossilizers, they never had any fossilizer over the size of a deluxe. They did not have a leader or a Voyager. So if these Energon monsters are what they, what I think they are, like they're going to separate into pieces and form like a, you know, Energon muted, you know. Uh, thing, um, which sounds really, really cool. I like them to maybe take it to a Voyager size. Of course, we know most likely it will not go to the leader size because leader size is typically for the more big popular characters like Optimus, Megatron, uh, you know, the typical characters like that. So I know it won't be a leader, but it would be pretty nice to get a Voyager if it could be like a, um, you know, Energon monster, dragon, or a uh, you know, <laughs> some dinosaur or something like that. That'd be really, really cool. Of course, we do not know 
at all really how this Energon monster thing is going to turn out because we don't have any names of what they're going to be or images or anything, but we will stay tuned for that, of course, because Hasbro PulseCon is just in a few days, so maybe in Wave 1 we will get some images of some Energon monsters, which would be really, really cool. I am so, so looking forward to Legacy. It's going to be really, really cool. Um, what a lot of people are calling it is Legacy Evolution. Uh, most of the time, I'm probably just going to say Legacy because that's a little bit quicker of a name. <laughs> but, yeah, you can say Legacy Evolution if you want. Um, so, yeah, lots of things to look forward to. Uh, Energon monsters, uh, Energon weapons. How uh, will they do just, like, the packaging? Will it be a, a backdrop it comes with or a collector cord or maybe both? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward to Transmetal 2 Dragon Man Channel. Of course, that is not officially revealed, but there has been listings in several store systems like Target. I think there was some in Walmart as well of Legacy. So um, I would say it's a pretty, I'd be pretty confident to say that it would be happening. It's, I'd say, 85% chance of it happening, but of course, who knows? Um, but yeah, uh, in the comment section below, tell me what you think of Skids and Grimlock. I mean, not Grimlock, Skids and um, uh, uh, Bulkhead, I'm sorry. Um, and what characters do you want to be in the Legacy line? Whether, you know, you can say any characters. It might not happen. Just let me know. What characters do you want? And if they're already going to happen, you can still say them. Um, I think that's it. So I'll see you next time.